Meteorologist Chad Evans. Weather from where you live. So a very odd weather day today. We've got an area of low pressure here off to our southeast, and it's been strong enough and been sitting to our south long enough that it's actually taken warmer Atlantic Ocean air, pulled it in over the Appalachians, and wrapped it into our area. So we've had a warm front wrapping around the low and coming in from the north and northeast. This is very, very rare. It's actually been a little warmer right here in this zone here than it's been near the Gulf Coast today. Record cold down at the Gulf Coast because the Arctic air is wrapping around and wrapping underneath of it. But as the low pulls away, eventually the Arctic air will come back at us because you know, we dropped a 7 this morning. We skyrocketed to 27 with this warm front today. Now the temp will crash during the overnight hours. But very odd weather situation this afternoon. Again, the low is here. You can see the cold air wrapping all the way around it. It's colder in Atlanta than Lafayette right now. And it's colder at Natchez, Mississippi, which is about right here than it is at Lafayette. But again, this cold will get us overnight tonight. Now let's go to Precision and focus on what's happening out there right now. Not only with the weird temperatures, if you will, but with the lake effect snow that's developing, developing, we talked about this yesterday, how we'd start to see some lake effect get going by this evening. And that's what we've got out there. Check out the band from Lake Michigan all the way down to Indianapolis. Now have some lake effect in the Lafayette area. We'll take you in tighter. Lake effect snow showers here. Winnemac, Rochester, down to Royal Center. Logansport down towards the Walton area, southward to Frankfurt. Some light snow in Lafayette and West Lafayette now, and also near the Kokomo area. And this goes all the way down to Indianapolis, even Linden and Romney, and as far west as Attica, getting in on this lake effect band, moving to the south. And we're all going to get in on this coming up over the weekend. We'll go to 3D now, kind of outline the weather story. Coming up over the weekend, lake effect snow showers will be the weather story if we could go to 3D really quickly now. And you can see that with temperatures now that are running in the 20s, with this cold air in place over the weekend and winds coming out of the north, we've got a, the lake effect that'll kick in. So lake effect snow showers over the weekend, ending on Sunday. A clipper, though, Monday and one on Wednesday and Thursday will bring at least a little minor accumulation. Right now, Monday and this system mid to late week looks pretty weak, about an inch of snow or less, but two more uh, snows to kind of annoy us, if you will, or make us happy. It depends on whether you like snow or not. And finally, next weekend, as the warmer air tries to move in, it's going to glide up and over the cold snowpack. That may lead to an icy mix. So quite a bit to talk about. Let's start with Lake Effect tonight. Uh, there's during the overnight hours, Lake Effect snow showers coming in from the northwest, uh, especially northeast of Lafayette. That's where the snow showers will be a little heavier. That pretty much keeps going through tomorrow into tomorrow evening. Now, once we get into Sunday morning, I do think this will shut down. We'll actually see some pretty good sunshine on Sunday. But as the Lake Effect shuts down Sunday night and the clouds erode, that'll set the stage for the coldest night of the season so far. The lake effect beginning now lasting through early, early Sunday, uh, two to four inches from Winnemac all the way through Peru and Logansport, four to six Rochester area, one to two from Newton County and parts of Jasper County all the way down to Lafayette, down to Frankfort, and about an inch or a little less Fowler to Attica and down towards Crawfordsville. Tonight, five with lake effect snow showers, very cold wind chills. Tomorrow, Wind chills stay below zero. We'll have lake effect snow showers around with a cold, cold high of 12. Uh, and then that little clipper comes in on Monday with an inch or less of accumulation. Another one Wednesday. And then we'll watch for an icy mix Friday as some of that warm air tries to push in here. So